way. Could Kemar Roof be on his way out? He's being linked at the moment um, with a move to Sheffield Wednesday, Crags. And the reality is he's got a great strike rate for when he's played, um, but he's been unavailable too often, hasn't he? It has been. And just when you felt as if there was moments last season, particularly when Alfredo Morelos was out, which meant Kemar Roof was the only available out-and-out -out striker, there was moments where you thought, right, that's him. This is his chance to go and put eight, nine, ten games together and show his impact. But then starts, plays, does okay, gets a goal, then injured. You know, just couldn't maintain that. And what kind of told me a little bit about where he might have sat in the mindset of Giovanni van Bronckhurst, Europa League final, in the extra time, I think he got two or three minutes at the end. Mm. You know, Scottish Cup final, didn't get on at all. And he's the only fit out-and-out -out striker. Okay, might not have trained an awful lot, but at 1-1 in the Europa League final, you're looking for someone to come on and do something, possibly, and, and change the game. Aaron Ramsey as well, that, and they'd only got himself two or three minutes. I think they come on at the same time. Uh, so the fact that he only got three minutes over two games, two major games for Rangers, probably told me, or probably told everyone from the outside, he maybe isn't part of the long-term plans. Mm -hmm. He's maybe laying that marker down to say, I'm planting the seed early that I don't see you being my out-and-out -out number nine moving forward. We'll get Morelos back. He might have had his mind on Cholak already. Mm -hmm. So uh, just moments like that, kind of stick out for you um, but you're you know you're right when he's fit and available uh, in the team he scores goals yeah. however you know uh, you'd imagine they'd be on a, a significant salary because mm. they pay good money for him they can't afford to have a player who's going to be fit only 50% of the season yeah. whether that's his fault or whether it's not or whether it's just a recurring injury that keeps coming up but ultimately as a manager when the amount of games Rangers are going to play they need yeah. people who they can rely on and, and can be fit and available. I don't think we're, we're suggesting for a minute that that, uh, that he's feigning injury or, no, no, or no, that, no, he's, no. that he's not no, genuinely no. injured, but words like dependability and reliability are really important to a manager. You, you know, you want to be able to count on him more often than you've got to count him out. Yeah, but you can imagine for Kimar Roof, it'll be hugely frustrating watching the players winning games, watching new players coming in, watching them in the Europa League final and the build-up and that... You know, the atmosphere at the semi-final at home against Leipzig in the second leg, it will be hugely frustrating knowing it's a niggling injury. But I think it seems to be calves. It mm. seems to be a calf injury. And I always just think once calf injuries kick in, they're awfully hard to get rid of. You know, they keep niggling back all the time. So, yeah, I mean, we're not for one moment saying he's fearing an injury. Of course he's not. He's a player who, when you can see, plays, commits to the game and mm. is fully committed in the game. It's just unfortunate that whether it's a recurring injury, the same injury, or whether it's different injuries, he's had a... Um, a hell of a lot of bad luck.